Poland is a very well-educated society, there are very good language skills. You can find people who speak almost any language in Poland. So uh, shared service centers and, uh, and business support centers have sort of the big uh, coming up uh, issue in Poland. Uh, we have companies from all over the world setting up uh, shared service centers from uh, India, from China, from the US, from everywhere. Um, and uh, basically today we have around 600 large companies that employ more than 200,000 people in Poland in shared service centers and business support centers. Um, and of course, we are trying to find solutions where we can help these companies with their, their global setup. Around 10% of the uh, companies are Scandinavian, so it's quite a substantial part of it. Well, Poland has been an EU member since 2004, so we don't really see challenges which are that different from other markets. One of the challenges that our clients have uh, is perhaps the setting up of cash pools if they have more than one company in Poland and also cross-border cash pools, because you need an interpretation from the each uh, local tax authority to do that. Uh, and that can sometimes be a little bit cumbersome, but we are helping our clients with it and uh, trying to provide the best possible solutions for it for the, the companies that we service. I mean, recently we have helped uh, one of our home market clients to do quite a substantial acquisition in, in Poland. Uh, uh, probably one of the largest in, uh, for this year. Um, apart from that, we make sure that our clients are up to date with what goes on in the legislative uh, area, uh, what goes on within the tax uh, laws. So we have seminars where we invite clients in uh, with the external partners also. Mm -hmm.